In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the loading speed of your Shopify store without hiring any developer and without coding, just by following simple, basic stuff. I have been in Shopify for over 4 years and over the years I have run multiple dropshipping stores, helped many people start their online business and right now I'm using Shopify to sell my own products. For all the Shopify stores I had, I have managed to have the best possible loading speed thereby reducing bounce rate and increasing conversion rate. I have done this without hiring anybody and without coding. The thing is that Shopify itself is built for anyone to start their online store without coding. So in reality, you don't need to do any coding or hire a developer to increase the speed of your Shopify store. If you do some simple basic things in the right way, your Shopify store will have an amazing loading speed. So I'm gonna be sharing you 4 simple things which I follow when I run a Shopify store in order to have a fast loading speed thereby increasing conversion rate. Alright guys, the first thing is not actually a tip but it is the main concern for most people. It is GT Metrics. GT Metrics is a website that measures how fast your website is loading. So if you have been using GT Metrics to measure the loading speed of your website, you have been measuring it in the wrong way. The results of GD metrics are not consistent and it varies from day to day. Okay, just to give you an insight, I did a test on GT metrics for billion dollar company like Zimsock and Kylie Cosmetic and I'm gonna be sharing the result with you on the screen right now and as you see the results are really really horrible. So if a billion dollar company gets a really bad metrics on GD metrics, you can decide. So if your website scores B, it doesn't mean it's bad. The real way to measure the loading speed of your website is through your browser. So in whatever browser you are using, there should be a mod, whether it is incognito or private mod. So what you want to do is go into that mod and type in the domain of your website and see how it loads. The way it loads in the incognito or the private mod is how your actual website is loading. You can try it in different devices, in your PC, in your laptop, or in your phone, in your tablet and see how it responds. If you are happy with it, you are good to go. What I'm trying to say is that even if you have a website that loads really fast and you use GD metrics to measure, it may show really bad data and you may feel bad and feel like you need to do something for your website while in fact your website is perfectly fine. So that's the first thing I want to tell you, don't use GD metrics to measure the loading speed of your website. Instead use incognito mode or private mode in your browser. The second thing is really simple, it is to uninstall all the apps which you are not using. So literally uninstall every single app in your Shopify store which you are not using. In fact, the way to avoid using a lot of apps is to use a team which come with inbuilt apps. The real problem with Shopify app is that when you install an app, it installs a piece of code into your Shopify team pile. And this line of code often ends up conflicting with your team pile thereby reducing the loading speed of your Shopify store. The problem is that for some app, even after you uninstall the app, it leaves a line of code in your Shopify store conflicting with your team pile and it keeps reducing the loading speed of your Shopify store. So as a precaution, whatever team you are using before customizing and adding any kind of app, make sure you make a copy of the original team pile. So in case anything goes wrong with the team, you can always come back to the original file and do the same thing from scratch. The way I have managed to solve this app problem is by using the beautify. So regarding using less apps, the game changer for me was using the team the beautify. My first year in Shopify, I was experimenting with a lot of free and bad team, but then I switched to the beautify and I have never looked back. The beautify in my opinion is the best Shopify team ever. Right out of the bat, the team loads extremely, extremely fast and the beautify offers more customization than any other Shopify team. It is much more flexible in designing your Shopify store, whether it is a home page, product page, or any kind of pages. And the thing which I love about the Beautify are the inbuilt apps which they call add-ons. At this moment, they have more than 50 plus add-ons. So these add-ons are basically apps which are built inside of the team, meaning using these inbuilt apps will not slow down the loading speed of your Shopify store. It has a wide range of add-ons to enhance the look of your Shopify store, to increase your conversion rate, and to also increase your average order value. It has things like trust seals and badges, which looks really clean and professional, sticky add to cart, add to cart animation. To increase conversion rate, it has things like cart countdown timer, 
product bullet points. It also has add-ons to increase the conversion rate by offering a lot of upsells in the product page and the cart page. So with these add-ons, you can customize your product page and your cart page to have a much better conversion rate and to stand out in the competition which is really important in 2022. The Beautify is 100% free to install so make sure you check it out. I guarantee you, you will not like it. You will love it. At the time of recording this video, the Beautify has 54 add-ons. Best Speed Booster. It even has an add-on called Best Speed Booster which will increase the speed of your Shopify store. Alright guys, point number 3 is actually an opposite to point number 2 that is to install an app. The app goes by the name Best Speed Optimizer and I use this app in all my Shopify store. There are some apps in Shopify App Store which promise you to increase the loading speed of your Shopify store but ends up doing the opposite. But this particular app which is free, from my experience this app is doing a really great job. To be honest, this app doesn't actually increase the loading speed of your Shopify store but it creates the illusion that your store is loading really fast. So let me try to explain it in a simple way. When someone comes to a landing page of your Shopify store, this app actually starts loading the other pages that is linked to the landing page. So when the visitor clicks to another page from the landing page, it loads immediately. Actually, the loading started even before the visitor clicks on anything, but when they click on the button, it gives the illusion that the page loads almost instantly. You may not understand what I just said, but this app does improves the visitor experience by creating the illusion that your Shopify store is loading faster. Alright, so the last tip I have for you is to resize your images. So when you click a photo with your phone or your camera or you download a stock image to be used on your website, it tends to have a really big file size. These photos will range anywhere between 2 MB and some even more than 5 MB. This greatly reduces the loading speed of your landing page. The way to solve this is to resize the images without minimizing quality. To do this, you can go to App Store or Play Store, just type in image compressor. Before you upload the image in your Shopify store, make sure you compress the image. If the app gives you an option of how many pixels you want, you can go for 1000 pixels max. Don't go beyond that because it is really unnecessary. So normally a photo or an image which is clicked with your phone, camera or a stock image will have pixels of around 4000 and some even 6 or 7000 pixels. So when you resize it down just to 1000 pixels, the size of the image will be reduced to around 100 KB and some even at the maximum 300 KB, which is much lower than what the original file was. And just by doing this, it will greatly increase the loading speed of your Shopify store. Even if this is the last bullet point in this video, this was a game changer for me. For most people, what is slowing down their Shopify store is probably having these images which are really large in size. That's it guys, if you follow these 4 simple basic things when running your Shopify store, I guarantee you, you will have the best possible loading speed. If you do get some value from this video, please do like this video and also subscribe for more value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.